we are pleased to announce Android 2.2. There are four areas we'd like to highlight in this video. We're working to continue improving overall speed and performance on Android. In Android 2.2, the newly introduced Dalvik JIT compiler delivers a 2 to 5x performance boost to CPU bound code compared to Android 2.1. In this demo version of the game Replica Island, the screen turns red when the CPU is unable to keep the game simulation thread above 30 frames per second. Here, the Android 2.2 device with JIT maintains a game simulation frame rate above 35, while the 2.1 device quickly goes below 30. Developers can use Android Cloud to Device Messaging to easily enable alerts, send a phone, and two-way sync functionality for their apps. With this API, an app server can send authenticated messages to the Google server, which would push the message to the app on a user's device. In this example, a developer has used Android Cloud to Device Messaging to enable a URL send to phone extension from the desktop browser that automatically opens the push page with the appropriate app. Here, Google Maps. The App Backup API enables any app to have its data backed up and then restored when installed on a new device. The feature is controlled by users via the automatic restore setting on their device. With Android 2.2, developers can specify whether they want their app installed on a device's SD card. For apps residing on the SD card, users can move the app from the SD card to internal storage and back from the Manage Application settings. Android 2.2 introduces the ability to use one's phone as a portable hotspot. Users can activate portable hotspot on their phone, then connect their computer to the portable hotspot to get internet access. We're continuing to make the browser better and faster. Android 2.2 introduces the V8 JavaScript engine, which provides a 2 to 3x improvement in JavaScript rendering times compared to Android 2.1. You can see the difference in these side-by-side -side visualizations of the respective SunSpider JavaScript benchmarking test results. We're introducing several new features to Android Market. Users can choose to let an app auto-update as long as permissions remain unchanged. Users can also update all apps with unchanged permissions with a single click. Application error reports will provide to developers app crash and freeze reports submitted by users. These reports will be available to developers through their Android Market Publisher account. To learn more about Android 2.2, please go to our website, developer.android.com.